Alrighty guys, this is Weston. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. You're watching JWD Outdoors. Um what was gonna be a squirrel hunt Failed. is now gonna be I can't think of the name of it. Porcupine, Porcupine hunt. And uh we had the intentions of coming out here doing a video on squirrels. But uh Never we'll just roll we'll, we'll we'll roll the foot roll the footage how we had it and uh you guys will see what happens. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of JWD Outdoors. Um actually we have somebody with us this time. Jeremiah's along. Um we have a plan for tomorrow for a different video that we have not done yet. We tried a couple times. No? We've tried, um like last year we tried to get a video on it and it didn't pay off. Um we're gonna try doing a catch and cook on something killing cook killing cook that we have not done yet and uh it's a furry little critter treat rat we're gonna try doing a video on squirrels um i know where a bunch are i saw them during muzzleloader season and uh i think if we go back there in the spot we should uh be able to find some gotta shoot the gun tomorrow make sure it's dialed in but right now we're actually at walmart we're gonna grab some stuff some supplies to bring out in the woods to do this catch and cook or kill and cook <laughs> So uh, hopefully it'll be a good video. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it, and hopefully we can kill some squirrels. Hmm. Take that. That's some flower. Hmm. Take one of these. Dude. I don't care. Backpack for so long. And I really don't Just want. Take those. Just get those. Let's get this guy right here. We should do it. Red Hot Challenge, whoever can slam the bottle first. Oh, no. I definitely will. Probably should grab one of these, just, just in case. Alrighty, guys. Well, we are done at Walmart. We're back home. Um, just now charging all the cameras, everything else we need for the morning. Got all the supplies we need for the kill and cook. And uh, this is going to be it pretty much for tonight. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Alrighty guys, it is now the next morning. Um, me, Lauren, and Jeremiah are on our way out to the woods right now. Hopefully to kill some squirrels. Uh, I'm going to shoot the gun when we get there. And then uh, hopefully... When we get out there, we'll see some squirrels and shoot a few and get some good video for you guys. And if we don't, I managed to uh, just whack one with a pickup truck. Is that gonna go? A little red squirrel. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for some nice big gray squirrels, but uh, we'll see what happens. Keep you guys posted. Stay tubed. Thirty. Got to the spot. I know this might look ridiculous, but here is my 122. It's a little cricket. It's got a huge scope on it, but it is a little plinker, a little sniper. We're gonna set up the box and shoot it right now and make sure it's on, and then we'll be ready to kill some squirrels. That'd be a dead squirrel. Yeah, there's a big one up in the tree, so we're gonna take them out. Alrighty guys, well, we're walking back to the spot where we're gonna be squirrel hunting. And I happened to be looking up in the tree, and I noticed an oddly shaped, looked to be a squirrel nest, but I knew it wasn't a squirrel nest. And it's a big porcupine. I'm pretty sure, we're looking it up right now, but I'm pretty sure you could shoot him in Wisconsin. So uh, if that's the case, I think we're gonna take this guy out and, uh, Maybe do a killing cook on it. I don't, I don't know yet, but uh, I've never shot a porcupine. I'm looking at him right now up in the tree. But if uh, that's the case, we could shoot him. We'll get some video and show you guys. I can't believe I'm getting so damn nervous over a porcupine. Oh, I better not miss. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Whatever porcupine, porcupine on a squirrel hunt, portion Alrighty guys, managed to get it done. One shot, one kill, fell right out of the tree. 
it's pretty cool. Jeremiah got on video. I got it on GoPro as well. But um, first perky point I've ever shot. Good start to the squirrel hunting day. Um, but we're gonna get up here, actually get to the squirrel spot, and then uh, on the way out, we'll grab Mr. Porcupine. I think we might try eating him. I don't know yet. Maybe do a video on that. Porcupine killing cook. We'll see. That was pretty cool. First porcupine. Got me excited. I was actually shaking, but it's pretty cool. It's time to get to work on this guy. Um, probably not going to show you too off a lot of this, both this, um, cutting it up anyways. First off, I don't know what I'm doing, I've never skinned a porcupine. Second off, it's just gonna be graphic anyways, but we'll show you the end result, and then we're gonna get the um, oil going. We're gonna cook it up, and uh, we'll just see how this guy tastes. It's gonna be interesting, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> All right, guys, that was pretty easy, actually. Um, on the stomach, they don't really have much for quills. Actually, we didn't really run into any, but um, all we did was cut the pine quarters out, and it's actually a pretty good, pretty good chunk of meat. But uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get the frying pan ready. I might dice it up yet, I'm not sure. We might just put them in their hole, I haven't really decided, but it doesn't really stink either. It's kind of a dark meat so it could be interesting it could be actually pretty good never had it so don't know what to expect but we're gonna try it for the first time and we're gonna find out all right so the thing about porcupines too is that they're uh pretty much bark and uh herbivores, herbivores whatever so they're uh, especially clean you can actually eat them raw if you really wanted to um i've heard that the liver is really good if you take it out and actually cool it in snow you don't even have to really cook it you can just eat it raw so they're uh, they're safe to eat, um, unusual. Don't see many videos on it. Alrighty, <clears throat> we just got them cut up, just small little cubes, just mixing them in with the red hot right now. We just gotta take it from there, <clears throat> put it in some batter, and uh, put it in the frying pan. Add some flour, <clears throat> take some seasoning salt, and some pepper. All right, this is my first time ever trying porcupine. It smells really good. Surprisingly, that's not bad. Not bad at all. It's just a little, little chewy. I think this one had some tendons in it. Otherwise, not bad. I think it's a little undercooked. It might be a little raw yet, but it's all right. <laughs> the red hot actually kicked in pretty good too. Pretty good. All right, go ahead and try it. It's a little chewy. It's good. Good. <laughs> we even need Lauren's opinion. It's a little burnt, but it should be all right. Mm. 
A little chewy? A little bit. Ain't terrible. No. Just chewy. Well, guys, a turn in a, a day where we were trying to shoot squirrels ended with a morning of uh, shooting a porcupine right away off the bat. So that was that was good anyways, because we didn't get any squirrels. They too many dens in these trees, and they just climb in their hole, and they don't come out. So we got lucky enough, um, spotted a porcupine right away, and managed to shoot them. And uh, we decided we're going to do a killing Whoa. cook. We actually tried it. I'm actually surprised. It's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It smells really good, too, when you're cooking it. Um, just a little bit chewy, but other than that, it was pretty good. If you guys uh, like these videos, let us know in the comments below. And uh, there'll be more videos coming out soon. Me and Jeremiah are going to try uh, pounding some videos here. Get them up for you guys. And uh, thanks everybody who's watching. Subscribers are jumping like crazy. Um, views are jumping, which is very awesome. Can't thank you guys enough. And uh, if you like this video, please smash that thumbs up button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you guys soon.